So a couple of days ago, we reported on the whole Post Drew situation, man, and we just want to get you guys caught up to speed. The boy Post Drew put out this video of a 5-7-65 overall post score dominating on the twos. Now, we know that the post scores, that's where they dominate. That's where they live on the twos, all that good stuff. And you just see, he's just saying this is how broken it is. You know, he wanted Mike to uh, update it. The boy Mike said, post, he prompted this from Mike Wong saying, post hooks are currently immune to contest. This will be hot fixed tomorrow morning. Uh, the, you know, other bugs and post hooks greening on the other system. They got to fix that in an update. That prompted post Drew to come back and say, Mike, Mike, you were supposed to nerf the post hooks, not completely ruin them, and the community was having none of it. And when I say none of it, I mean absolutely none of it. The boy Mitchell Ink Rot, and he came through and he said, on what planet is this considered a post or not uh, a, not a mid-range jumper? And then even the guy, De'Aaron Fox, man, he said, serious question, who in the league comes close to shooting their jump hooks from here. And I can't lie to y'all, man. I'm glad that the community banded together on this. Fun fact, if you don't know who De'Aaron, I mean, you, I know y'all know who De'Aaron Fox is, but De'Aaron Fox is avid in the 2K community. I am so much so that a couple of years ago, I'll tell y'all this before we get started. A couple of years ago, my guy K-Spade, the prospect, went out there for 2K day and they had the, um, you know, they had all the, they had all the players out there. Um, and you know, he, they, they, they were meeting the players and they were like, yo, um, De'Aaron Fox was meeting everybody and he said, uh, K Spade was like, yo, he tried to introduce himself as K Spade. He's like, nah, 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 play. I know who you are. I watch all your videos. You know what I'm saying? I've been watching since I was a kid and whatever like that. So, you know, I'm just as much of a fan as you might be of me. So that was a dope moment for the guy, K Spade, the prospect, somebody that was uh, an innovator in the community. Got to give him his flowers because without him, I promise you, I wouldn't be where I was. I wouldn't even be doing 2K videos, man. Somebody from, from the A like I am was doing it. I was like, shoot, man, I, I could probably do this too. And he, and he would let anybody play with him, let me play with him in uh, 2K17 when I had my lockdown defender. We was out there hooping, man, and it was just a fun time. Dude's a real genuine fellow, man. And like I said, I'm giving K-Spade his flowers because as my man Grindhard would agree, that's one of the first, that's one of the innovators of the game, man. And, uh, you know, he don't get as much respect as he should. But before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video because if you like the video, you get a chance to win some free VC. I'm giving away a $50 VC pack. Uh, at the end of this week, we already gave our, our winner. I uh, contacted the winner already. It was S O Q Z X or what have you. Hit me up in the comment section. You know if you are uh, if 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 you wanna if you want me to contact you a different way, my dog. But look, that's who won right there. So uh, that's this week's winner. But don't worry, we're giving away a fifty dollar pack of VC every week or i'm just gonna cash up y'all 50 dollars just whichever one y'all want whichever is easiest for y'all man that's how we gonna do it all you gotta do like the video comment on the video and you're automatically enter and it'll be in your best interest to do it on all the videos because i'm gonna choose a random video and then i'm just gonna choose a random comment from a random video so if you're coming on all the videos then your chance your chances improve exponentially but now that we got all of that out of the way good morning 2k hey 2k land man and also every time you like the video it helps to get closer to that also covered in 100k and without further ado let's just get this video underway first things first man check it out the theater has been updated uh post of uh, the state oh we got we got sponsors for this theater now okay so the state farm theater and hey, look it says bonus assist uh these are the new game styles that are going to be in the theater this week 3v3 park style uh gameplay uh, to 21 assisted baskets earn an additional point per team. Uh, you got 4v4 park style gameplay. Uh, that's cool. You, then we got the 2v2 park style gameplay to 21. Uh, four points for every completed alley oop. That's going to be crazy. And then you got the 2v2 squad. Uh, no squads. 2v2 park style gameplay. Scoring player receives possession of the ball. So, you know, that's what we got right there, man. Those four game types are going to be going to be uh, in the theater this week, man. It's something dope, man. Like I said, the theater is something that I hope that they keep refreshing because it will keep the game refreshed. Like, once we start getting tired of everything, Hopefully we go over there and we start doing the, the, the matchmaking and enjoying some of that stuff, man. But right now, everybody grinding. Everybody grinding out the game. Everybody's grinding out quests. Everybody's just doing what they got to do, man, to try to get their character to the top tier. I do feel sorry for those that didn't follow uh, certain 
that didn't follow certain patterns or they made their characters off of gimmicks and stuff like that because I'm telling you, man, we tell y'all every year, do not make your character based around exploits. If you do, a lot of cases, you're gonna be sorry because they're gonna fix it and then when they do, you're gonna, you're gonna be out. It just is what it is. Up next, the boy sees on say it's your birthday. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Hey, happy birthday to the boy that they call this a man called Steve. Doom, doom, doom. The man called Steve. Doom, doom, doom. Y'all don't remember that, man. Y'all ain't no real WCW fans from back in the day. Oh, oh, hey, it is what it is, man. If y'all remember that, put Sting down in the comment section, man. Up next, hey, we got the boy Stacks. He just says it's okay to admit that you're not as good at playing 2k as you thought lma lmao just adjust and get better stop complaining after one day about shooting etc and i'm telling y'all bro like i said this is one of them games bro you're gonna have to be locked in and you're gonna have to practice on you're not going to just be able to just hop on this joint and play if you can you're exceptional you're in the one percent you should be streaming you should be putting out that content and you should be helping everybody else get better because you can make a lot of money if you can do that but if you just if you just a scrub like me then just get out there and keep scrubbing it up until you get better that's just what it's gonna take man it is what it is question for y'all man the boy big dog banner had a question he said this is the question that he's posing if i have a 99 steel and you have anything less than 99 ball handling and i have hall of fame glove and you have anything less than hall of fame unpluck unpluckable I'm supposed to get the steal from you every time. Make it make sense. Y'all PGs are funny as uh, Shaking my head. Steals don't need to be nerfed. Well, sir, the way that that works is it's a percentage. And a 99 percentage versus a 90 percentage is is it is negligible the difference between a 99 and a, a 99 percent chance to do something and a 90 percent chance to do something is largely negligible so if they got anything less than that let's say if you got 99 um if you got 99 steel and they have 70 ball handling or they got 80 ball handling or something like that let's just say that it worked uh with percentages so you got a 99 chance you got a 99 steal, and I'm just gonna we just gonna do raw percentages with this. That means you would have a 19% chance to steal the ball, which means that you would have to reach five times in order to get it once. So, uh, and and that's being generous. So, the way that that works is not the way that you think it works. It's not just it's not just that I have a higher percentage, and you can't have people out there stealing the ball just because they press the button like that. They, they, it can't work like that. I know you wanted the greatest banner, but it can't work like that. It's just, it's not it's not a it's not a hard. But but the, the the long and the short answer is that it's not a it's not a hard statistic, right? It's a percentage. And when you put two percentages together and the and the difference is negligible, then then you got to go with the difference of the percentages. And then what that makes, what that constitutes is like if somebody had a 40 ball handling and you had 99, now you got a 60 percent chance to steal the ball. But if somebody got 80 ball handling or they have 90 ball handling and you have 99, you got a 9 percent chance to steal the ball, or you have a, a 20 percent chance to steal the ball, which means you got to do a lot of reaching so so it's not supposed to work like that so if that's how it works then they do have to tone it down somewhat but don't do it I, I, but I, I, I shudder to think because I, I don't even got the glove yet and the thing that really makes me mad is if they change it before I even get a chance to test it out I'm gonna be kind of upset because we know 2k nerf stuff into the ground and so if they do nerf it then it's gonna be like it's oh man it's gonna be terrible because you're not even gonna be able to get a steal and then it's like why did I even put that stat on my character so I understand what you're saying my boy but it just don't work exactly the way that you explained it that's all uh, it's, it's a percentage and, and the difference of the percentages is what constitutes the outcome or, or what have you but you know it, it is what it is. Uh, up next, hey, the boy Nike, he says, man, hell now, nah, nerf that shit. Don't be, <laughs> don't be having no defense. That shit is a bailout. And then, of course, Banner say, I got defense, man. We know you one of the best, uh, we know you one of the best locks in the game, uh, big dog. Ain't nobody mad at you. And I understand where you coming from, too, because it's what Bomb is doing it. You, you should take that ball from him a lot. But let me test it out first before you change it, Mike. Because I ain't even I didn't even put my steel up like that. I just got my lock and I got perimeter up. I ain't even put my steel up like that. I got like an 85 steel. So uh, let me test it out first before you change it. And then I'll let y'all know how broken it is. That way, I, that way I can look like the best lock for, the, for a couple weeks out here. The boy Mike Wong said he was replying to one of the trees. He said, I like this comment. I was surprised to see few people using very late timing uh, in the poll. I personally find that one of the easiest to use 
especially in uh, team control modes. And what he's saying is, uh, somebody had tweeted. Obviously, he deleted his tweet now. But what the what the young man had, I guess he couldn't take the heat after some after you after Mike Wrong responds to you. Now y'all see what Mike go through a little bit. But what he was saying was. Um, if you're having trouble shooting, then just put your put your joint, put your release on very late, and then uh, it'll go when it when it leaves his hand. And so, like when you're controlling the whole team, that's what he's saying. Like it's easier to, to read that than it is to read it, uh, you know, individually. Plus, you get a little bit longer. He also said it doesn't slow down your jump shot. It just changes where you release it, and it doesn't slow down the jump shot, but it indirectly does because if I'm releasing it later. Uh, like let's say if somebody bearing down on me and I release and I got it on very early and I go I've already released the ball then the ball is gone player so I ain't got to work like right here ball gone yeah you see what I'm saying but if I had a later release and it, it it doesn't slow down the jump shot animation but it does change where I would release the ball so that might have been a little bit later so that might have been a contest I don't know how it works I think that's a video that I will be doing and we'll see if, if uh, we'll see if you can get a better contest on the later that it is Big Mike holla at your boy we need to do that video man we gonna get that thing we gonna get that thing popping man but we gonna we'll test that out for y'all and we'll get that data for y'all and he just says if you're shooting uh, somebody said, well, why would I do that if I'm already shooting well? He said, if you're already shooting well, then leave it. Uh, there's no competitive advantage from, from one setting to the next. It's purely preference and what works best for you and the cues, uh, you know, the cues that work for you. Yeah, changing that part doesn't, um, doesn't do anything, but changing the, changing, changing that part doesn't do anything. But if you change your speed of the shot, it will give you um, what do you call it? better impact timing? So make sure y'all do that. If you if you knock the, the, the speed of your shot down a little bit in the jump shot builder, it'll give you better impact timing. So that's dope. Mike also said somebody said why not put normal in there? And Mike said we wanted to add a normal. We wanted to add a fifth normal uh, setting, but the feature came in late in the cycle after the save format uh, was locked. So we had to make a make do with the bits available to us and then somebody says can't you uh can it can it be updated easy He's like no uh adding another spot will corrupt everybody's save and we will probably that probably definitely explains why it doesn't really save um why it doesn't really save like it's supposed to because y'all know like you go into the subway it might revert back to late you go and, and your shot meter will be on you 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 your dashboard is definitely going to revert back to late and your shot meter will be on and all of that good stuff so i can definitely understand what he's saying it came in late in the cycle and it doesn't that's why it doesn't save um exactly like it does so he definitely just explained that because we always wonder bro why don't this thing save and like he said the save was already done like i said look right there i just shot a late right there wide open and bro why can't why why is it like that look look how, how y'all do this 2k why y'all do this to me look i released it the same way he even he even left his hand up there, bro. Like I greened the shot and I didn't green it. Like I don't be getting that, bro. Like how many how many of y'all did that happen to? Does that happen to y'all a lot? He leave his hand up there. You know it's pretty. It's so pretty, and you you think you really have hit the shot because you know you timed it perfectly, and then it just give you the late and the early glitch. I think that's what they just put in the game to make us miss the shot here. Because I done hit three of them, and they just like well, eh, whatever. Yeah, it, it is what it is, man. But uh, up next we got the NBA boy two. We got the boy NBA. 2k leaks and intel saying 2k needs to start banning people that boost events um as well because it literally is almost impossible to win without boosting uh for the first month or so and then the boy iq contain double down he said i feel like the events will never be the same on 2k everyone just boosts uh whether whether it's on or off stream legitimacy and the accurate and the actual fun is trying to win the event uh, event has been thrown out the window and he's absolutely right bro we know people don't do nothing but boost like how they get in there before us they be getting in there before we do we took us an hour to get in we get in there we I'm in and they took a, whatever man y'all know this is the first event of the year so it was very it's an arduous situation trying to get your team in finally get our team in and you got people with with three million laps it's crazy man but you know it is what it is y'all think people boosting or y'all think they winning straight up i don't know man but hey check this out we going on the community clips we don't even care uh this is an in-depth guy from kev cuz man showing you how to do the post stuff post drew maybe this is what you need to be looking at my boy hey look get you some more post moves about you that's what they saying look at oh baby look at the face up right look 
this is some good post movement uh joint i'm gonna leave a link to the video down in the description and uh you know y'all can probably improve y'all post game get y'all some moves some dream shakes and stuff like that because now you can do all this against the computer i don't know look at that nice that, that's nice right there man in the post look at patrick ewan with a little post hook and stuff like that i don't know if this was pre patch or not but Hey, I'm just giving y'all the juice, man. Like I said, link down in the description. If you was a post scorer that has recently lost your way, uh, you know, do your thing. The boy GV say, hey, he say, bro, this is something that I want to know too. Control the narrative. Actually, need to talk to you. Meet her in the back office. Can she? Nah, I can't call and text her, bro. Please, I got the phone. I got the phone in my hand. Every time I'm trying to join the squad, and I know y'all go through this too. I'm trying to join the squad, and I got 15 messages. And I gotta look at all the messages, so I know she got a cell phone. Why she can't just call and text me or something like that? Y'all call and text me for everything else, and I can't even holler at people. So you know it is what it is, man. I can't, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't do stuff like that, man. Hey, it is what it is. Up next, bro. Listen, bro. Do this to me, and it's on. Look at him. He gonna hit him up. <laughs> hit him with the bop at half court. Little inside out. Oh, little fake some. Little gather. Step back. Going to the rim. Ride 360 out this mother. Jeez, bro, you do something like that to me, bro, and it's on. And I see that cone above your head like that, boy, with the wrong way 360 like this. Nah, bro. Nah, bro. We got to fight, bro. We going to have to talk. We going to have to talk about this uh, afterwards, man. That boy, Poe Boy, saying, hey, look, he said, look, LOL, man. And I ain't even mad at it. Look, missed the first shot. Hit him. Pump fake. Pass fake. Trey ball. Fader joined face back for her else. And then counts, man. Hey, I ain't got a lot of y'all, man. I'm having a lot of fun with this game. And uh, y'all know, y'all know how much fun I'm having with the game because this is the most fun you can have in the game right here. Let's say we getting them pregame reps in. The only thing I'm trying to figure out, how y'all got everybody on the rim? We trying to see how we can get everybody on the rim. We can only get one person on the rim. How are y'all on the rim? Oh, because they in the pro-am. And in pro-am, you, you are in a simu you're in a simulation, but it seems like, uh, yeah, everybody's not there because you can't even pick up somebody else's ball in the pro-am. And I don't even think you can pass the ball to nobody in pro-am. And yeah, everybody see different stuff at different time in that arena. Dope, I ain't gonna lie. The gym stars is in the building, man. But anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Comment sting down in the comment section if you made it this far for your chance to win a $50 uh, VC pack that's 200,000 VC don't matter what system y'all on if y'all keep pr promoting and and watching the videos like y'all have been and we keep getting 10,000 views I might even do two of them Friday you just if, if every video this week get over 10,000 views I'm giving away two I'm saying it right now I'm giving away two $50 VC packs uh, uh my boy SO SOQ uh what's his name SOQ ZX Make sure you hit me up, man. And uh, you got to prove it's you. But after you prove it's you, I got you, my boy. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay-Z, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Guys, speak.